Hello everyone, I'm Sayyam Vardhak and we will be going through a very interesting topic today which is deprecation of Docker Shim. So let's get started. So Docker Shim, Shim is getting deprecated in 1.20 and it has been a part of Kubelet for too long and uh, from 1.20 you will be seeing this particular warning uh, and the first release when it won't be there would be around 2021 uh, 1.23 release now there are a lot of questions going on in the mind and uh, we'll try to cover some of them though in a very short video it won't be possible to cover all the aspects but i'll try to give you all the links that i have gone through uh, which are useful uh, for this particular uh, announcement so first let's go through uh, some of the internals like how docker works so whenever you run a container what happens is the request goes to docker daemon and uh, the daemon doesn't run the containers actually it passes on the request to container d and even the container d doesn't start the containers uh, because it doesn't uh, communicate with the uh, kernel namespaces and all so the run c is the one that starts the container and then run c dies and then there is a shim layer that is responsible for communicating with container d so that particular portion is Docker Shim. So if you want everything in detail, uh, this particular video I'll be putting in the description. Now Docker Shim is getting removed, is getting deprecated, and there are some of the FAQs uh, which have been uh, published as a Kubernetes blog. So why it is deprecated? Because it's a heavy burden of maintaining, uh, you know, the tightly coupled Kubelet to Docker Shim integration and uh, uh, sorry, Kubelet to Docker Shim integration because it ships with part of Kubelet. Uh, so it becomes, uh, you know, difficult to uh, maintain that. And uh, you will be able to use uh, Docker till the time it's not removed, means 1.23. And in existing Docker images will work because they are uh, uh, OCI compliant images uh, and OCI specification uh, images, and they will work with the uh, you know, CRIs. And uh, Docker and containers are not the same thing because Docker is basically uh, a complete UX package designed to build and deploy manage containers. Now, what happens is uh, previous to Docker, also there were containers, but the rise in popularity of containers has been due to Docker. So that's why people already think that uh, containers are Docker, and uh, uh, that's that's how it is. But uh, that that is not the case. Uh, so there have been uh, CRIs, OCI, so all the things are there. Uh, that have been, uh, you know, uh, as part of, so you can run containers without Docker. So the container ecosystem has grown to be much broader than just Docker. And uh, some of the projects that are there that uses container D are kind and K3S will do a demo on K3S and show you how, how container D works, how CRI CTL uh, looks like. So OCI is an open container initiative that has the, I mean, this is basically the, how you package the image in a standard specified way. And then uh, CRI implementation, they, these are some of the CRI implementation, container D, C cryo, Gvisor that creates another layer on top of the host, Firecracker, Kata containers, LXC, and all these. And then you have, so this is where you should, uh, this is the most, uh, you know, uh, highlighted area of this blog like why you should be concerned or what you should be doing or what can break when, when 1.23 comes because there's a time span uh, the transition has to start happening now uh, so blogging any anything that uh, any modification that have been done in docker daemon uh, have to be uh, taken care of because all the logging information any customization in the daemon file any node provisioning uh, scripts that call the docker kubectl plugins that require docker cli so all these things have to be taken care and uh, so this particular blog is, uh, is is great for answering a lot of questions and uh, they, there was a panic uh, and uh, the Kubernetes community came together and within very short time they have uh, you know written down some of the things uh, like why you should not pa panic why people are freaking out and why you should not and uh, if you should why you should uh, so <laughs> all these things and how you can avoid uh, you know getting blocked or getting uh, uh, having uh, like when you upgrade to 1.23 in, in future and what will happen so 1.20 nothing really changes it, it, it's just a warning uh, then this is the CRI uh, and in in that you have uh, image registry and this is some of the documentation that you can go through then 
I should not miss any blocks. Yeah, this is basically container runtimes and how you can set them. So this is container D and how you can set them, uh, how you can set container D uh, with Kubernetes. So, so you can use this as well if you want to uh, set up Kubernetes with uh, container D as default on uh, a regular Kubernetes, which is the upstream. K3S by default comes with container D. Uh, so yeah, this particular blog also talks about this where uh, Docker deprecated what now, what to do, and a lot of things like how uh, Docker is working, why it is deprecating, how Docker, how uh, containers are working with uh, uh, Kubernetes. So Kubernetes container D runs C, that's why I already explained you CRI and runs C, how it works, with CRI Gvisor, how this works by creating a Gvisor guest, la guest kernel layer, uh, and uh, much more. So a good read as well then there's there's a blog from 2018 by phil uh, so it talks like who is running my pod uh community spot and what the future would look like and it talks it, it answers some of the questions and some of this covers some of the aspects of oci cri uh and the landscape so which is very interesting and phil has a lot of interesting talks on container d as well uh okay now we are in the ubuntu playground i have just uh, uh installed k3s on that so what we'll do is uh kubectl get nodes and uh, we should be having one master ready yes so let's clear out the screen now what happens over here is uh kubect oh sorry k3s ships with cri ctl so here's the cri ctl so k3s cri ctl i just want to show you the commands uh, so it has the commands like uh, exec attach create a container list the container pull the image from the registry so all these things all these commands are there so basically if any system administrator or anybody wants to debug uh, and they have container d as the default runtime and not docker so how they'll debug is using container d but this is not something uh, through which you can build the containers so you can either use Docker for building the containers or you can uh, use another build tools uh, like Buildia and there are some mentioned over here as well. Uh, uh, you know, image, Canico, all these things. It would be good to see if they become part of, uh, they are shipped as well. I mean, they are shipped with container D or, or something like that. So, and the specification around that would also be yeah, really good. Uh, so let's see. A simple command uh, like k3s cr i c t l p s so all these uh oops c r i c t l so these are the list of containers or the parts that are running already so you can you know uh, see mm -hmm. the container id and the state and all these debugging simple debugging that you do with docker you, you will be able to do with the c r i c t l uh and uh, on, on reddit also there are multiple discussions and uh, uh I think Tim Hawken has uh, provided a, a brief of uh, what, what is happening. So it's it's optionated. Uh, Kubernetes is an optionated orchestration layer that needs to launch OCI containers. It started by calling directly uh, Docker directly, and then they defined CRI uh, to... Uh, now there are several CRI implementations, and one of those is Docker Shim, uh, but Docker, uh, you know, you, we have to remove the Shim because... Uh, this particular thing do not directly uh, uh, connect with the CRI. And uh, that's, I mean, some of the things. And it they also point to the Docker FAQ. So I think the FAQ, uh, the both the Kubernetes block, they are pretty interesting. And the, uh, some of the other materials uh, that I, I have been through, I will post all the links in the description. Uh, hope that helps to some extent uh, for you to understand like what is happening, why it is happening, and uh, you know what should you be worrying about going forward. Um, hope you like it. It's not easy to compile everything in one video, so uh, keep the discussions on Kubernetes uh, discussion discuss .kubernetes .io or discussions or Kubernetes or something uh, is there. There you can do the discussions and uh, Kubernetes discussions. Yeah, it's discuss.kubernetes.io where you can ask questions and also on Slack, Twitter, people are super helpful and the community is awesome. Uh, so that's it for this uh, particular video and see you soon. Bye.